Okay, so today I'm going to have to uh, replace my camshaft that's inside the mower. Uh, basically the symptoms were that when I would turn the key, the uh, starter was not powerful enough to turn the crank and it would go halfway and stop. Uh, things I tried was uh, testing the starter, of course starter works. Uh, because it can turn the crankshaft. I've got a brand new battery. I adjusted the, adjusted the timing and uh, I looked at some videos on YouTube and I think it's the uh, camshaft. That seems to be the only thing that I can think of that it's, it is. In order to get this engine off I've got to disconnect the uh, throttle cable. Uh, it looks like I've got to uh, disconnect the, the muffler, disconnect this uh, connection here, All right. and next thing I gotta do is disconnect the uh, starter power cable, and what else? The gas, the gas hose has got to be disconnected and clamped off. And then we should be able to lift up the mower. I've got a couple pulleys I got to deal with. We'll get to that in a little bit. And then there's four, four bolts that uh, hold the engine on the frame. All right, we're gonna take off this fuel line here. Now this mower is about two years old. So, you know, I'm disappointed in the uh, camshaft braking. Uh, but uh, you know it is what it is also one thing I don't want to forget is I've, I've got to drain the oil before I remove this thing now let's see what we're gonna do with this I'm gonna put it right up here for right now all right throttle cable disconnected all right we're gonna take the uh, power cable off the battery and I think we're ready to uh, lift it off now what I've got to do is I've got to get this pulley off all right, I got the bolt out. I'm gonna pull down this pulley. See what we got. I didn't remove the deck like some people did. Uh, I'm gonna see if I get away with that. So I'm pulling the pulley down, and pleasantly surprised to see that that secondary pulley is uh, is attached to the same same rod or post. I'm gonna have to at least take this uh, stabilizer bar out. At the very least and i might have to remove the deck anyway but we'll see what happens so this thing came came out real easily this is all one piece this is a 2016 craftsman uh 19 horsepower so now we should be able to take the engine out okay i see a couple there's one right there there's one right over there okay so one one thing i almost forgot to do is disconnect the uh exhaust from the engine all right that was easy enough see these bolts i've got everything i'm putting in a pan right here looks like we got to take this thing off too there you go this is going to be the fun part this should come right on out i got that rod sticking through, through there oh all right i'm told you want to be careful of this uh oil drain plug also i'm told that this thing's loose right out of the factory or not as tight as it should be uh so you want to tighten this this nut here a little tighter i don't know how far this is going to shoot out oh there we go we got to take these bolts off one two three four five six seven eight nine bolts so we want to get this engine so it doesn't move around the chair and i'm not sure how to do that I'm gonna get rid of this extension. Alright, so I got all the bolts off. And it took me about 10 minutes. This engine kept moving around. If you can find a place to stabilize the engine, you know, maybe put it on the side if you don't mind. You know, kneeling down. So I would recommend putting them in a sandwich bag, keep them all together so you won't lose them. 
Well, hopefully they're all the same size. I, I'm assuming they are. I guess we'll find out. All the same size. Good deal. So to get this cover off, we're gonna do some light tapping on these uh, uh, areas where I can hit the hammer on. And we'll see what happens. Look at that, that's one. Easy. All right. All right. So there they're cover. Here's a gasket we're going to clean off. Take the governor off. Just kind of sits on there, it looks like. All right. And yes, the camshaft. There it is right there. And as I was doing this whole thing, I'm I'm actually second guessing myself, wondering if maybe I didn't set the uh, valve adjustment correctly. And I did all this for nothing, but uh, no, here's the camshaft. Also, you want to turn this thing so these dots line up with each other before you remove this, because you're going to put this the new one back, the replacement back in the same exact place. Camshaft off. Like I said, my mower is only two years old. That's why it's really depressing. None of these uh, lifters are worn. What it is is, as you can see, it's just broken piece down here. Forgot what they call it. But, uh, you know, it's a bad design. Briggs and Stratton, you know, they're making cheap parts these days. Clean this all out. You can see the broken pieces down there. Hopefully we can get them all out. And here's the broken pieces to the camshaft right here all that I can find anyway and you can see how badly messed up that is and that came off the camshaft down here like I said it's you know it's a poor design obviously uh, Briggs and Stratton you know they don't they don't care uh, probably gonna have to do this whole thing again in two or three years but there's the governor that's broken off and I'm going to see if I can't get it dirty like I just did and see if I'm going to replace this thing. See how much it is. Okay, we're going to want to pop this old seal off. Ah, there you go. Clean it off inside there nicely. Then what we're going to need to do is take this uh, oil pump off. Now, when you put this thing back in there, uh, as I've seen in other videos, you're going to want to bring it all the way down to this ledge, the seal, and of course you don't want to go beyond that, that hole right there. So I'm using this, uh, what do you call it, an extension, and uh, I'm going to ha hammer this in a little bit farther. Alright, so we've got, got it off, we've got the gasket. Take that and put that aside for right now. Take this piece off. There's a there's a little rod, and I'll show you here in a little bit. But you have to take this off because if you, if you don't take the oil pump cover off and that rod out. When you go to put the lid or the cover back on the uh, engine case, uh, that rod is just not going to line up. It's going to actually sit on the end of the uh, camshaft, and it will never line up. So you'll never get the cover back on. I've cleaned the surface, got the old gasket off, both uh, the cover and the uh, engine. Uh, yeah, I didn't do a great job, but I've got as much as I could. Um, when I bring my finger over, it's smooth. I can't feel a bump at all. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I'm going to use some gasket seal on it, and it should be fine. I've got the recommended 
cam cam lube so we're gonna take the new cam out we've got this is a genuine part I got this off of Amazon it's probably the same design so it's probably this piece is probably gonna break in two or three years I'll have to do this all over again because you know it's such a poor design from Briggs and Stratton so we're gonna get some camshaft lube and we're gonna lube up both ends here we're gonna lube up uh, these risers Let's see, do we gotta shake this? Yep, it says shake well. All right, we can do that. <laughs> it's a little sticky. And if you have to turn this thing in order to bring the dot over here, then go ahead and do that. Oh, before we do this, we're gonna put in the new um, rods that uh, push the valves up and down. See, we got these right here. Okay, so we're gonna lube these up a little bit. We're gonna take the old ones out. Like I said, it's only a couple years old. Probably no need to do this. But it came. These these came with the camshaft, so might as well. Remember, at the end of this, once I get this sealed, put back on the engine, I've got to do a valve adjustment as well. There it is. Line it up with those, those two dots lined up. Now we can get the governor. Now I'm reusing this governor. Uh, it's got a couple broken pieces on here. Uh, and these little fins help splash the oil around. Uh, there's only two of them broken, so I'm gonna reuse it Put that right in the middle there just like that because you got to line it up perfectly because it's gonna fit on a little uh, Pocket on the cover All right, Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Oil up this uh, piece right here because basically when the cover slips on You're gonna you're gonna have this uh, Gasket or seal that's gonna go over it and it's going to go over it nice and tight so you want a little, little bit of lubrication on there all right so i'm ready to put the gasket on what i'm going to do is uh just use these gloves and just i'm just going to figure the uh the glue on both sides and we're ready to drop this thing on here okay remember to have the uh, governor lined up this right on over hopefully it's gonna slip right on but I think this one got stripped it's still nice and tight but just to let you know using a, a, a torque wrench would probably be the best idea uh, so we'll have to see what happens okay so I'm putting the oil pump back together clean it up put that piece back in this little star thing back in and this is the part that's a little tricky we got to go oh, before I do that we gotta put, drop this in there so it fits right on the camshaft end there it goes okay and we're gonna drop this in here if I can there we go now we're gonna get the uh, gasket make sure it's clean put it put it on the cover itself uh, we'll add a little oil for good measure all right and we're ready to Put the cover back on. Okay, so we're gonna tighten that up, of course. And uh, one thing I need to point out, putting this cover on, I didn't film it because it was a real pain in the butt. But basically, 
putting this cover on was not easy and the reason I had a problem was and Terrell's video on YouTube points it out a little bit but not I want to emphasize a little bit when you're putting this cover back on with the new seal on it uh, the tendency is for this this rod to start going over or pushing the seal out and in my case it actually the spring that's part of the seal came out so I had to take the whole lid out take the seal out position the spring back in there and then when I put it back on there I made sure I lubed this up and I had to use a screwdriver to go little by little I kid you not to just kind of fit this groove of the seal down you know on the right side of the this rod I just play with it and make sure it went over there perfectly that's why Terrell on Terrell's video he says you need to sand this a little bit make it smooth and that would be something I would do over again if if I had to do over again is just sand this so when when you put this cover back on this seal is going to nicely slide over it okay so I've got the engine on there bolted down with the four bolts before I hook everything up uh, I'm going to put uh, this uh, uh, both these uh, uh, what do you call it, pulleys on or pulley so before I put it on I'm going to get some uh, camshaft lube and put it on there just so the next time it's easier to take off although it wasn't a problem taking it off the first time uh, it won't hurt to put a little lube on there I guess